Today, let's look at some examples of equivalent ratios. Class 7 results of previous and current year of a school are shown in the table. Find out which year had better results. Stop the video and think about this. To find the answer, first take the ratio of the number of students who passed last year to the number of students who failed last year, which is 54 is to 6. Then, take the ratio of the number of students who passed this year to the number of students who failed this year, which is 63 is to 7. Now compare these two ratios. Any idea how? Absolutely right! To find out whether the two ratios are equivalent ratios or not, we express both the ratios in the form of fractions. For example, we would express 54 is to 6 as 54 by 6 and 63 is to 7 as 63 by 7. Now convert them into fractions with the same denominator. Here, we see that 54 can be divided by 6, which will reduce the fraction to 9 by 1. Similarly, 63 can be divided by 7 and will also reduce the fraction to 9 by 1. Now that the denominator is same for both the fractions, compare their numerators. Here, we see that the numerators of both the fractions are equal. Therefore, both the fractions are equal. So, 54 by 6 is equal to 63 by 7. That is, both the fractions are equivalent fractions. 54 is to 6 is equal to 63 is to 7. Therefore, the performance of class 7 last year and this year is the same. Ramesh covers a distance of 5 kilometers in 20 minutes. Find out what distance Ramesh would be able to cover at the same speed in 2 hours. We can find out the distance that Ramesh will be able to cover in 2 hours using the unitary method. In this method, we first get the value of one unit and then find out the number of units that we want from this value. To do this, first find out how much distance Ramesh covers in one minute. He covers a distance of 5 kilometers in 20 minutes. Therefore, in one minute he should cover a distance of 5 by 20 kilometers. That is, a distance of one fourth kilometer. Now we have to find the distance he covers in 2 hours. Now 2 hours is equal to 2 into 60 which is equal to 120 minutes. So the distance covered in 2 hours is equal to distance covered in 1 minute that is 1 fourth into 120 minutes which is equal to 30 kilometers. Therefore, Ramesh covers a distance of 30 kilometers in 120 minutes or 2 hours. Now let us solve this example using proportions. Since we know that the speed is the same in both the situations, the relation between time and distance is proportionate. That is, time in the first situation is to the time in the second situation is equal to distance in the first situation is to distance in the second situation. The time for the first situation is 20 minutes and the time for the second situation is 2 hours. But when expressed in terms of ratio, we will express it as 2 into 60 is equal to 120 minutes. Any idea why we are doing this? Absolutely correct. Because in a ratio, the units of both the quantities need to be the same. So, in this ratio, the time of the first situation is 20 and second situation is 120. Similarly, the distance being covered in the first situation is 5 kilometers and we have to find the other distance. The ratio when expressed as a fraction would be 20 by 120 and 5 kilometers by the distance covered in second situation. To solve this, Take the inverse of the fraction on both sides by swapping the numerator and the denominator with each other. 120 by 20 is equal to distance of the second situation by 5. Now either multiply both sides by 5 or take the 5 from the left to the right and change the sign from division to multiplication. Distance in second situation by 5 into 5 is equal to 120 by 20 into 5. 
which is equal to 30 kilometers. You must have understood how we can solve such examples with the unitary method and through proportions. Today, we have seen examples of equivalent ratios. In the next video, we will see misconceptions related to it.